Hello everybody, once again, Jose Rodriguez here. And many of you have been totally aware that there is a new printer by Canon called a Pro 200, which is the replacement, so to speak, for the Pro 100, the current printer that we all love, and there are thousands of them out there. Now, the catch is that so far, Red Setter, the company that creates the resetters for the Pro 100 and the Pro 10 and several other Canon printers have not been able to crack the code. And so there will not be at this time a resetter to be able to reset the CLI 65s for the Pro 200. So there is no really good option for us to follow for refilling other than modify the cartridges, but then they are not transparent like these are. These are the Pro 100 CLI 42 cartridges, which are semi-translucent, and you can see easily how the ink would migrate into the sponge area from the liquid chamber. And that gives you a really good indication of what your ink flow characteristics or reliability will be. If you have air pockets, likely the ink flow will be inferior compared to the unaltered OEM cartridge. So what to do? Well, first of all, we need an ink set. Wait a minute, you say an ink set? What about the CLI-42 inks? Can't they be used on the new Pro 200? Apparently not. If you recall way back when I did the comparison between OEM inks, Pro 100, and the Precision Colors PCSE inks, okay? There was hardly any difference. The results were nearly a match. In fact, there was actually an improvement with the CLI-42 inks from Precision Colors. The reds really render red rather than the slight orangey look that everyone was getting with the original OEM inks. Now, many people did not even notice this, but Precision Colors apparently did. When we print our standard image, the section with the strawberries, that's when you really see the difference between the original CLI, and I will emphasize the CLI 42 inks for the Pro 100 compared to the Precision Colors or so-called PC 42 SE inks. The reds were much better, much neutral. In other words, they didn't go toward the orange side. So how did he accomplish this? Well, he did an adjustment on the magenta ink, and then later on, he also added a slight improvement on the cyan ink, and that created a much better rendition in the region of cyan colors. In other words, colors that are influenced by cyan and others, as well as the colors that are influenced by magenta and others. So enter the Pro 200. So now we have a couple of options that we can actually access. You take a CLI-42 cartridge, remove the chip, take the chip from the matching color CLI-65 cartridge and attach it to the CLI-42. You get me? So you're going to be swapping the chips. And now we have a cartridge that is identical physically. Okay? And you can modify it, refill that, pop it into your printer. Now, you will have to disable ink monitoring. When you do that, that information, the disabling, actually gets stored in the chip, not the printer. So you can always go back, if you wish to go back to full ink monitoring, you can buy a new cartridge, a CLI-65, and insert it, and then your levels will be brought back. But here's the catch. Sure, you can do all of that. We can still print using a third-party source. But what source? Because what happened was in the Pro 200, and Canon stated this in their advertisements, there was an improvement on the rendition of red. So they must have been aware of what Precision Colors was already aware many, many, many months ago. And they solved that. So they proceeded to do that same improvement, if you will. But they also improved other inks. So now the orchestration... In other words, how the colors blend together with the new print engine was altered. Let me show you what would happen if you were to use it. Just like I was thinking, 
I thought the same thing. Oh, I'll just use my PCSE inks on my Pro 200 if I get one. Let's just, you know, imagine. And I'll be fine. I'll just go ahead and profile and I'll be good to go. No, you will not. Precision Colors found this out immediately. So they have a Pro 200, which by the way, was set up live on one of my live streams. Go back and watch that if you haven't seen it yet. Here's the catch. The inks are different, okay? They will not print the same way as CLI 42 inks, okay? And I'm gonna show you the difference. So the left print will be using the Pro 200 with cartridges loaded with CLI 42 inks. And then the picture on the right, the print on the right, is actually printed with the new tweaked, modified inks by Precision Colors for the Pro 200. And that came about literally as early as last month. So now the ink is under production and soon we will be able to order it. So here we go. We're going to go over to my screen and I will show you what I am referring to. All right, so here we can see it graphically. So the print on the left is done on the Pro 200, but using original PC42 SE inks. Notice that extreme color cast toward the cyan. And on your right is the newly modified ink set by Precision Colors. They arrived finally at this type of result. Many, 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 many hours and days went into the calibration process and now this ink is under production at this point so as you can see vastly different results this looks perfect this does not this is again so that you guys get it this is using what the pro 100 would have used this is using what the pro 200 is now using in other words he was able to match the pro 200 output with its new inks on a new ink set that will be under production coming up very, very soon. All right, as you can see, there's nothing better than a really graphic in your face description of what was actually happening with these inks. And uh, he was kind of shocked at first when he discovered that, but I'm glad that he was able to take care of it. I know he told me about it a while ago and we were like wondering, uh oh, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Well, he was able to solve it and so pretty soon those inks will be available for sale. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you realize that it's not so easy to go from one particular printer to the other, even though they seem to be the identical printer with just a few you know, physical and technical and mechanical improvements. No, the inks were changed. And so the results would have been drastically different and in fact, just horrible. All right, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And until the next time, as always, happy printing, everybody, and bye-bye.